film concept. The director, Tommy Vercola, said, I have a strong memory from my childhood of just how dark and gruesome their tale was, and I wondered what would have happened to them when they grew up. They had this dark past and this intense hatred of witches. So as I thought about it, it made sense to me that, of course, they would be fated to become great witch hunters. We wanted it to feel like this could be happening 300 years ago, but at the same time, there is a modern spin on all the action, characters, and weaponry. It was a fun way to make a classical world fresh. Vercola said that he originally came up with the idea in 2007 while studying film and television at Bond University in Australia. He wanted to make it just a short film, and the school director, Simon Hunter, advised him, Tom, don't ever speak of this idea again until you are in front of a Hollywood producer, and I guarantee you'll sell it. The idea is they've grown up and are witch hunters. It's a hybrid sort of old-timey feeling, yet there's pump-action shotguns. Modern technology, but in old style. Witchcraft, also called witchery or spellcraft, is the use of magical faculties most commonly used for religious, divinatory, or medicinal purposes. This may take many forms depending on cultural context. The belief in and the practice of magic has been present since the earliest human cultures and continues to have an important religious and medicinal role in many cultures today. Witches. A witch is a human who practices magic. Like mortals, witches can be either good or evil. The origin of witchcraft remains unknown. However, witches have existed for many centuries, passing down their knowledge and skills through generations. Witches serve as a primary antagonist in the Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters film. White witches are a type of witch also seen in the Hansel and Gretel movie. White witches or good witches are qualifying terms in English used to distinguish practitioners of folk magic for benevolent purposes, i.e. white magic, from practitioners of malevolent witchcraft or black magic. Related terms are cunning folk, witch doctor, and the French sea healers. Grimoire. The Grimoire is a book of spells used by white witches seen in the film. The book was given to Mina by Hansel. He found it in his house. It was once used by Adriana, the most powerful witch of all. Ben had known the name of the Grimoire. A page of it was used to bless a potion that made them enter the witch's lair in the surrounding woods. Blood Moon. In the film, Hansel and Gretel found a paper on the tall witch which speaks of the Night of the Blood Moon and Blood Moon Sabbath. The witches collected 12 children, each born on a different month. They planned to use them along with the heart of a white witch to gain the power to be immune to fire. Muriel had planned to use Gretel, a white witch, but her plan failed as Hansel and Mina stopped their gathering and later killed Muriel. Concept Art Concept art is a form of illustration where the main goal is to convey a visual representation of a design, idea, and or mood for use in films, video games, animation, or comic books before it is put into the final product. Concept art is also referred to as a visual development and or concept design. This term can be applied to retail design, set design, fashion design, and architectural design. The two most widely covered themes in concept art are science fiction and fantasy. Concept art has always had to cover many subjects, being the primary medium in film poster design since the early days of Hollywood. However, since the recent rise in concept art used in video game production, concept art has expanded to cover other themes. Traditional items include oil paints, acrylic paints, markers, and pencils. Now. Let's enjoy some concept art for the film that features designs of the international witches created by Ulrich Zeidler, Peter Pumpkin, and Joshua Minns. <laughs> 